Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to bind your own books. I have shown you this before in the past, I think a couple years ago, I don't I remember, maybe three, four years ago. And uh, the technique was to put hot glue on, on the side and then to put uh, paper binding around it and then you get a book. It is similar to that technique except now I have other tools that we can work with and make it much more uh, nicer and more uh, stronger to bind these books together. So the technique here allows you to bind up to um, 200 pages of single side or 400 page double side as you can see here. Okay? It is pretty quick. Um, now the thing is with this kind of binding, it's not going to be like super you know, high quality uh, binding, however it does a good job and you can see here if you print uh, a nice front page and back page and the side page you can pretty s much simulate the pretty good quality uh, book which you can actually sell. For example if I am uh, a, a publisher, um, you know self-publishing anyway, uh, I'm trying to publish my own book this is probably a good way especially you don't want to print thousands but rather a couple hundreds of book. So let me uh, go about showing you how to do it. Okay, what you need, of course, is a paper trimmer. Okay, uh, you need, this is the most important actually, you need this um, Pro Binding 1000. Okay, now the Pro 1000, the binding, uh, it has its own binding uh, paper that you can get, but the thing is, uh, those are very expensive and uh, it's actually, you don't need that. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how you can go without those special type of uh, paper uh, that comes with uh, that you, you have to buy for this type of um, pro binding uh, machine. So you don't need it. What you need of course is actually hot glue. So here we have a um, pretty good hot glue um, gun, glue, glue gun you can see here. It's a high temperature glue gun. Uh, the you know More of the pro version. And of course you need the paper that you want to bind with. So I have here a scrap piece of paper um, almost 150 pages worth, maybe 100, I don't know, around, you know, about at least 100 pages anyway, thick, probably more. And then what I'm going to do is, so imagine now you print these sets of paper and then make sure that it lines up properly, like that. And then what you want to do now, you want to get a piece of paper here to um, wrap around, because this is going to be your edge that you're going to put hot glue in, right? You're going to put the hot glue here, and then you're going to have a piece of paper that will fold around the edges where the hot glue is, just like here, you can see, right? And then once you do that, then we're going to turn on this um, pro binding machine and we're going to put that edge, that way we put the hot glue in, and we're going to feed it in here and leave it for, you know, about a couple minutes and then by that time, it will give us a reading, it will tell us that it's done and when you bring it out, it should be properly bind. Let me show you right now. Okay, so the next step, what you want to do is, of course, take a, like I said, uh, for the edges, right? Uh, you take a, you don't have to use a color paper. I usually like to use color paper to determine, you know, the edges for it to make it look nicer. Just like the one I'm showing you here, right? This is green. I'm using orange this time, right? Uh, another thing I forgot to tell you is that it's probably good if you put an elastic band, a large elastic band, wrap around the paper that you want to bind. This keeps it intact as you can see here, right? So, you know, a large um, band, elastic band that will hold it together. And then once you um, determine, I mean, depending on how much uh, the edge you want, you determine, you know, the size and you fold this in half. And then, you know, you're going to place it on top of that. Once you have the hot glue across the edges here where you want to bind. So it's going to look something like like that. Okay, so you put it around like that. And then the hot glue will be applied. Now make, make sure you put a lot of hot glue. Um, the more the better, right? And along especially the edges here. So that it will saturate the, the, the glue inside. Now for the edges, this, the extreme edge here and here, don't put too much because it will leak into this machine, you might damage it. So I would say bring it up to maybe about, um, you know, one centimeter from the edges. So you hot glue all the way to one inch from the side and uh, allow it to, you know, not to go at the edge because what's happening, it's going to 
it's going to go into this machine, uh, the binding machine, and we don't want it to leak into that, okay, and maybe damage it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to apply the hot glue to the piece of paper. Now, here is where I'm going to use this machine. On the side, there's this um, latch. We can just put it like that. Which side? Yeah, this is good. Make sure it's straight. Okay. And once you have that, put it to the side like this. And then push it in. And then use the hot glue. And what we want to do is we want to now just bring up the last band a little bit here. That edge straight, and then we're gonna put a hot glue along the side like that. Okay, keep it all the way around. Remember to leave about a centimeter from the top, All the way down. Okay, and once that's done, you can now apply. Let me just put a little more here. Maybe dab at the edge. You can dab the little edge in the front here so that this edge here will glue into the binding material on the edge. So let's see, there we go. Okay, and so there we go. You have this edge with a hot glue. And just bring up the elastic band a little bit to the other side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to place this inside the pro binding machine. Okay. Slide it in there. There we go. And then press to start. And right now it's saying hot copy. So we're going to wait and see. And it will flash and it will tell me when it's ready. It takes about a couple minutes, okay? So we're going to wait and I'm going to stop the film now. And then when it, when it uh, finish, I'll let you see it again. But it'll take a couple minutes to do this. To wait for this is... Okay, so the light is now uh, on. Steady. So that means it's ready. There was a sound actually before this. It was a beep beep. And then it telling me that it's done. So there you go. It's done. And you could see the hot glue sits in there and just see you can see the edges i can feel the hot glue whoa it's hot but there we go it's really firm now you see here the paper is loose on the two sides right so what you want to do the next step is to take these two-sided tape and you want to be able to um place this on the the edge of the side here this colored paper and to place it along the rim, the edge rim here, as well as the other side. And basically what it does is it's going to glue it into the front and the back page. Okay, so I need... This paper in here. No, I should have, I, in fact, I should have done this before I did do this, um, but anyway, it's all right. Okay, so I'm going now to place this adhesive tape, two-side adhesive tape, and put it along the edges. I should have done this ahead of time. It would probably be easier. But since I already started, I'm just going to do it this way, okay? So I recommend that you do this ahead of time. It's probably much easier to do. Now there's a problem, you see. Oh. Okay, there we go. 
It would be much easier if I'd done it at the beginning. But you know, you learn the mistake. This would be much smoother, right? Look at that. Okay. And you cut. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you peel the uh, edges. Take out the two adhesive tape. And now you put it in like that. There we go. See? Now it's really firm. It's actually sticking to the paper. And then you do that also the other side as well. Like I said, I should have done this at the beginning, not at the end. But And since we started, we're going to just finish it off like this. There we go. Now it's firmly um, attached to the front and the back page. Now you can see here, it's not perfect, right? There's a little bit edge here. Like I said, I should have lined this out properly at the beginning, but that's okay. Now it's still good. Now imagine now if you put a label here, alongside here, and then of course you have a nice front page in the back. It looks awesome. Now we're done. There we go. Look at that. And it's pretty strong. Wow. Perfect. So here's my rough paper. See, I have a paper that uh, I like to recycle, but you know, the thing is, I don't want to throw it away until I fill this up with my uh, handwriting. So sometimes I use it for, you know, when I'm doing math or something, when I'm tutoring and all that stuff. Um, yeah, this is great to do. And you, in fact, you might want to give this to your students. Um, you know, if you're doing tutoring, as you write this, give them this, and don't waste any type of paper whatsoever. Um, and uh, everything can be reused before you throw it uh, or recycle it. Because there's still this white piece that you can still use. So, really good for the environment to do it this way. Okay, so we have now completed the book. It's done. It looks pretty good. Nice binding. I can feel it. It's quite firm. I can go like this and not worrying that the page will come out. Very, very good. Um, it's, I think it's, it's definitely sellable. I mean, if you make a uh, lab manual, uh, tutorial manuals, uh, any type of manuals, this is great. Um, you know, you can create a book, you know, uh, self-help books, documents, you know, on uh, machines and all that. This is awesome. You could sell them and uh, make a huge profit from this, of course, because this is your own work. And the thing is, you don't have to make thousands of them. You can make, you know, a couple hundred, even a couple, uh, 10, 20, 30 um, copies of this and then distribute it um, locally. And uh, you can do it anytime, whenever you want. Um, let's say, you know, let's say they, you need 10 copies today. You can just print it out today, bind it, send it off. Um, pretty straightforward. So now, you are now your own self-publishing company. Cool. Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.